Alright, the build process was fairly simple. All I did was take 12 LEDs, 9 yellow, 3 blue. The 3 blue ones are the top 3. I glued them into a piece of foam board with holes poked into them. And I put a piece of paper in front of the foam board to act it like a diffuser because the lights are a bit too bright and they, they give you a headache after a while. And then I did a horrible soldering job here on the Arduino. It's a Pro Micro. Here I soldered all the ground connectors to this one pin. I was originally going to use the connectors. Uh, the ones with the plastic pieces on them that you just stick in there. But uh, the soldering iron was too hot and melted through the plastic, so I just have the pin there still. Then I hooked up every single LED to a digital pin. Here, let me see if I can focus. There. I used up almost every single pin, except for pin 1 and 1 over on the top here. And that's about it, actually. After you've built it, it's time to program it to actually display anything. Because at this point, it won't display anything. You're going to need to have a micro USB cable to USB A that can transmit data. I use the Samsung charger from the Galaxy S2 because it's the only one I have that actually works. Some some cables don't work. I don't know why, but whatever. Plug it in. There. And then plug it into your computer. Alright. I have a program loaded onto here already. But it doesn't matter. Also, just a quick side note. The maximum storage space on this small Arduino over here is 32 kilobytes, so your programs can't be larger than that. Now it's time to program your Arduino to show pictures on the small display. In the description I've linked the GUI I made for this purpose, which lets you easily program the Arduino with just your mouse. If you have a Mac like me, you're going to have to attach an external mouse as a right click is required. I also included the code that you will need in the description. This is just used in the actual Arduino ID. I'll explain it later when we get to it. For now you can minimize that. Alright. This is the GUI. Here you have each LED. And under that you have an edit box. In this edit box you will need to write the name of each LED and their corresponding pin. I have set this up for my pins. Let me see if I can zoom in. There, pin 1, or pin pin 2, because pin 1 is the TX pin on the Arduino Pro Micro. Pin 2 is the fifth LED, as on uh, my actual display. It's, it's next to the fourth LED, but it's plugged into pin 2. And you will have to edit this depending on your setup. I didn't solder these in order. I had no plan, so that's why I had to do this. All mumble jumbled up, I guess. After that, you're going to have to set up the digital outputs here. I already did this. You don't need to worry about it, but if you have more than 12 LEDs, you're going to have to add a line real quick. Oh, this is kind of hard to do with a tripod in the way. Alright, enter pin mode 13 output close there you go you're just gonna have to do that I don't have 13 LEDs so I'm gonna stay at 12 alright I'll zoom back out and we can start programming sorry about this the screen recorder was a little wonky alright we can now open the GUI this GUI works on Windows, Mac and Linux only if you have Wine on Mac and Linux. It's an EXE, but good enough. Alright, let's start by labeling these LEDs here. Mine are numbered in this order. This one would be 
one. This would be two. Make sure you spell it correctly as you state it in the code. So you have to actually write it out, not the pin number, but the actual text, the string that you wrote. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Alright, Ian. Now, if I zoom in here, you can see that there are two buttons. Save button config and load button config. You want to click save. And then every time you open the program, you can hit, or I'll show you. So let's say I opened the program newly and it's just a blank space there. Right? You can click load. Oh, I guess I didn't save it. Oh well. Oh well, yeah, just, you can save it and load it. I am going to have to redo this now and I'll come back when I do it. I'm back. I think now would be a good time to explain how this GUI works even further, as you will need to use it unless you want to write this by hand, which is extremely tedious and you're probably going to be better off using an auto hotkey script or this GUI. So here's a custom code text box. You can type anything into it. My bad. You can just write random gibberish. It doesn't have to be code. Then there's a submit custom code button. You click it and it's added here. If you want to delete a line of code, just double click it. It'll go away. So, let's add some more code. Let's, or just some gibberish actually, because I can't properly type with a tripod in the way. Submit custom code, whatever, it's there. Uh, it's a little messed up, but if you want to delete everything, start new, open a new file, you, you're going to press F11, and it's going to erase everything that you've written so far. All right. Down here, it explains how this entire GUI works. It's a little messed up on my screen since this is made for 1080p screens and this screen is less than 1080p. I'm not sure what resolution it is. It's an old MacBook though. All right, say we want to write the word hi and just have hi flash over and over again. So we're gonna left click to turn the LEDs on and off. So first we're gonna turn on all the LEDs that correspond with the letter H. Let's choose 5 or 8. Let's choose 5. Then you're going to put a 500 millisecond delay. This gives it some time before they turn off. Then you're going to right click to turn them all off. Another 500 millisecond delay. Now you have to write the letter I to complete the word. Alright, there's I, 500 millisecond delay, right click every single LED you left click before. There you go. And then let's add a custom delay so it doesn't just loop super fast. So in here, or down here, you can see where it says custom delay. Inside of the parentheses and semicolon, you're going to write your delay in milliseconds. So, I want to have an 800 millisecond delay. Oh, my bad. There. 800 milliseconds. I'm going to click custom delay. And it's added here at the end. Now let me zoom out. There, you can see the entire bit of code that this outputted. Can you select all? No, you can't. All right. Now, if you actually want to use this, right now you cannot actually use this, you're going to have to click Save File down here at the bottom left. This will save it to your C drive, or your root directory of your C drive. Um, if you're on Windows, you're going to have to run this program as an administrator. Otherwise, this will not work. So I'm going to click save, click it again just to make sure. You can click open export, and here it opened a notepad, and there's your code. So 
Control A, and then let's copy it there. All right, and you can also click Load Export. This will just load the last thing you saved. There, it doesn't erase it. It just opens it under it. So you can combine files like that. Let me quickly press F11. There. Now we can open the Arduino IDE. Here, since I'm on Linux, it's a little bit different than Windows or Mac. I'm sorry if my voice is weird. I'm not using a proper microphone. I'm using my phone on a shady tripod. All right, now it's open. Let's Control A. Delete everything. All right, now we can open the code I put in the description. We just press Enter a few times and paste the code we just got. Okay, I guess it does not want to paste. All right, well we'll, we'll do this first then. Here, I'm going to take this, control C, and then we're going to go to the Arduino IDE, wherever that went. We're going to just paste it in there. Alright, my bad. Then, you're going to have to set up your pins, as I said before. There. My cat's meowing now. There. So, take some time to do that, and I'll be back. This did not want to work on my laptop, so I'm on my desktop now. If you can hear any background noise, I apologize. But, here, I have my setup hooked up to the computer, and it just stops because... Oh, okay, well, it works now again. Faulty wiring, I guess, or something. So, leave that plugged in, go to your tools. Uh, make sure that you have your serial port set up. Make sure that you have Arduino Leonardo selected if you're using a Pro Micro like I am. And your programmer should be this one if you have the Arduino Pro Micro as well. Alright, so now we're going to use the code that we got from the GUI. We're going to put it into the loop down here between these two curly brackets. So, just press Control V. There's our code. It's in there. We can upload it using the button up here. Click Upload, and the bottom is going to show how it compiles. It might ask you to save, because you need to save before you can upload it. Alright, it works. It says Hi. Advanced, isn't it? You can do tons of other stuff with animations. Um, if you're wondering if you can dim the LEDs, Either you're going to have to have a resistor hooked up to it, which will just permanently dim it, or you're going to have to connect it to the uh, to the analog outputs, or whatever. But that's it's a little more complicated than just the, the rest of the pins, so... Uh, everything's in the description, ask, ask questions in the comments if you need, and yeah, that's it.